Alright, let's do this. Um... Ah, decisions, 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 decisions. Um, here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna pick up all of these three. Picking up all those three, and we're just gonna rock broom, sword, and this food stuff. Unless I can find myself a pan, because I want to go pan and oatmeal. Okay, got the pan. Beautiful. So, now that we have the pan... What we're gonna do is sell the broom because we bought that on sale which so we don't lose any money from that this is just free money which is good we can rock the pan with the food situation that we have right now um whoops ah, i guess we could do like something like that that'll work i see this on sale i'm gonna pick it up i kind of do want to roll at least one more time kind of is do i actually want to roll at least one more time actually maybe i don't do I pick up this pig? Round one pig? Probably. Probably should pick that up. Okay, this will be the starting hand. I do want to try to get a spike shield. Only reason I'm saying that. Uh, this this starter is still really experimental for me. Um, I might need to find a better starter. But the only reason I'm saying that is just so I can have a second form of DPS that I can utilize. Uh, that being spikes, right? So, if I could find a shield, that would be great. And we're getting spike shield on round three. I'm going to roll once just to see what I can get. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Um, I guess we'll just rock this. Yeah, I'm just going to rock this for the most part. Probably going to lose again. But that's common when you're rocking this pan. I do need to try to minimax this pan with food, though. So if I could find me some blueberries, find me some chili, stuff like that, that would be absolutely phenomenal. Probably going to lose this. Game is tied when they're into Berserker mode. Yeah, that's an L for sure. That is an L for sure. Good game, though. Ding. All right, let's get some space. Roll. Oof. So we're going to whip on round three. Okay, we're pivoting. We're pivoting into a flame thorn, flame sword, flame, whatever the flame one. Flame whip. We're, we're pivoting into a flame whip build starting now. Okay, so we're selling this. I don't really want to get rid of my food. Kind of want to keep that. Also want to get the chili pepper, but we need a DPS, so we're going to sell that. And then we're just going to get the spike situation dude going on here. Uh, which should be absolutely amazing, to be fair. I'm just going to do something like this. Food can go here. Reserving. Damn, we need space. But I kind of don't want to get rid of spike shield because that can play a role with uh, thorn whip, right? So they they, synch they synergize with each other. Um, maybe I could just be... I, I kind of do want to get both. But maybe I'm just fine with just having one banana. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm only having one DPS, right? So maybe I'm fine with just having one banana. Um, do we win this? Probably. They got double DPS versus our spikes. This should carry us for like a good a good amount of games. This should carry us. I do also want to get this Goobert so I can get me a chili Goobert. Because that is also good. So we're just going to rock a situation like this. Damn, we found this th uh, this storm fairly fairly uh, early in the game. The reason I'm not turning into a flame sword yet is because I believe that the thorn whip does more DPS than a flame whip, unless you have pineapples or some form of spike generation. Which I mean, I guess technically spike shield is a form of spike generation. So I guess technically speaking, I could turn it into a flame whip now and then just utilize these three spikes that you gain to get more heat from thorn whip i don't know if that's better or not though i mean it, like it's only three spikes at the end of the day you know what i mean like it's not that many spikes so i honestly have no idea if uh if that's better don't know do i want to find out i also don't know if i want to find out also don't know if i want to find out if it's better or not um how do i want to set this up i kind of do want to have the shield right here but considering the uh the space situation that we got going on right now I don't actually think that's possible. So instead, I think we're just going to do something like this. Do I want to turn it into a flame whip? Or I actually don't know. You know, it's time to experiment, I guess. We'll turn it into a flame whip. Um, and see if that's the better choice. Because we have spike shield, so that's like a little bit of heat generation. Not to mention we're getting uh, chili as well. Chili goo, so that's even more heat generation. I just think, you know, infinite DPS wise... Um, the Wormwood just has infinite DPS versus Flame Wood, which doesn't, unless you have, um, the what you call it, unless you have the, the, I can't even think of them right now, can't even think of them right now, um, unless you have the lamps, unless you have the lamps, um, four gold, what do we need, do we need, do we need blueberries, um, 
I don't think so. I don't think we need blueberries. I feel like I need the W key. Then again, I can use that as an activator, but then I, I can just use that as an activator. I feel like I need the W key here. I do need this, but I, I definitely do feel like um, some form of W king is necessary soon in order to um, get a pineapple because we need a pineapple. Like drastically need a pineapple. Like I'm, I'm glad I got spike shields at the beginning of the game. But we can see here because they also have just a melee weapon, which we can utilize to get a lot of heat here. So we got 21 heat, which is pretty fast, but the weapon is not strong. Even if it's like eight damage, six damage, nine damage, like it's not strong. Yeah. Yeah, I think Thorn Whip is just better. Unless you have pineapples, bro, like Thorn Whip is just better. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to do here. I feel like I just need a W key for a freaking flame up. Like, I, if I don't, I feel like I lose. Feel like I lose. I grab this. I'm gonna grab it. Yeah. Damn. Um. Yeah. I just feel like yeah. Without that, I feel like I lose. They're gonna do a lot of DPS with us uh, from us here, and then not to mention they also have like five spikes themselves. So it's like. Yeah, well, at least now we know. <laughs> Don't turn it into that guy unless you have um, former spikes for sure. Uh, damn, 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 damn. What do we do here? We turn this way too early, I think. I think we just need the W key. I've been saying that, but like in my brain, I kind of don't want to. <laughs> That's why I keep saying it to myself. But I, I definitely think uh, we kind of have to just do something like that. Then again, this is oh, this is, this is every five seconds. It's the same speed. Should I get this ice dragon? I, I think I have to get the ice dragon. It just has another form of DPS because this isn't gonna this isn't gonna do right. It's not gonna do its justice for real. Yeah, we're just gonna keep on losing. All right, yeah, we gotta buy this. Oh, never mind. There goes our pineapple on sale. Okay, never mind. Maybe we don't buy that then. Since we have a pineapple on sale now that we can just utilize instead. Unless we do buy this, I mean, we could still just buy it. Like we have eight gold. We could sell this for two, sell that for two. That's 12, sell a bunch of heat. Just so we can get up to that 15 number. Just so we don't lose this one battle, right? I think that's the plan. One, two, and three. Get this guy. Now we just gotta figure out where to actually put it. Um. I actually don't know where to put this. <laughs> I don't know where to put this. I feel like it has to go next to the frozen flame just to get, you know, the min maxing. It's got to go next to the frozen flame. But then again, it's like, well, what if I were to like do something like this? Does that make sense? So boom, boom. That kind of just doesn't make sense. Well, um, Got to figure out something here. Whoops. Yeah, I got to figure out something here. Um. Uh, I don't like this. I do not like this at all. I do not like this at all. What if I did this instead? Unless I just don't use the shield as an activator. And I just use the food. And I just did that. Ah. Uh, I wonder if I should turn the frozen flame towards the ice dragon. Because the flame whip doesn't have any of the lamps, so it doesn't have any DPS scaling at all. Literally zero DPS scaling. So 
So realistically, this item right here has the higher DPS versus the flame whip. So shouldn't I turn it towards this guy? Right? Like that's a better choice, no? Because if, if this Chris has does 40 damage, if this Chris does 20, you know what I mean? So like, I feel like this is, uh, yeah, I feel like this is just better. But I'm keeping this on a Goober because it's faster. Speaking of, should I move this towards an activator on a Goobert? The Ice Dragon here? Maybe that's a better choice as well. Um, maybe if I did this? Or some iteration of this, I think, would be the play. Um, let's see here. This looks really dumb, but just hear me out for now. Hear me out for now, for now, for now, for now. We're still experimenting slightly. The slight experiments. Slight experiments. Um. Um. Yeah, this is weird. Okay, hold up, hold up. Maybe we should reset, 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 reset. We're gonna reset, we're gonna reset. We're gonna reset here, we're gonna reset. Okay, so Ice Dragon is gonna be main form of DPS and I can use it as an activator, right? I also wanna have Fanny Pack on it. So boom, starting off with this, starting off with that. Um, We also need Flame Whip to be an activator. So we can do something like this. I guess this doesn't even need to be there. That's low key convenient actually. And then you need to go here. Um, and then this needs to be touching you. And then we also need these other activators to like be a thing realistically. I wonder if it's better if I just move this entire situation up by one and it's just put that there. Maybe put that back right there. That goes there, that goes there. But then again, frozen flame. I mean, what am I gaining? 12? <laughs> it's gaining 12 block. Ah, uh, for the sake of min maxing, I want to do it. Thinking at the same time, it's like, damn, am I going to be able to actually do it? You know what I mean? No, I can't. Well, uh, this is the most effed up this is placement I've ever done, ever. This is as good as it's going to get. It sucks. I can't put that right there. I don't think there's a way for me to do so either. Unless I put the flame whip. No, well, unless I put the flame up on a different side of the guru, but meh. What am I going against? Okay. I mean, just a simple double axe situation. Simple double axe situation. Okay. Nice 40 critical. Okay, that look that went a lot better because we got that pineapple. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get space. Um, oof, heart container on sale. I do like heart containers on sale. I'll buy this heart container on sale. I do like you guys. Um, and now that we have the space, maybe we can uh figure out a better situation here. What if I just moved it over here? What if I just hit that? Then I just did this. That can just go in the corner, maybe. And then potentially we could just use these two as activator fuel. Because this is 3.5, that's three seconds. And then we could just do that. Okay, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I still don't think I need any. No, I do. I do need. Yeah, I do need blueberries. Just in case I get the ice book that uses up mana for uh, ice, so. I still think the shield would have been a better activator for the Goober, but maybe we'll be okay. Nice 46 critical, and that's game, that's game, that's game. Okay. We're doing decent so far. It's not the best situation. I would love to get this, actually. Ooh, sun armor. Damn, I forgot all about sun armor. We might be selling that shield. I need space. Yeah, I need space, bro. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're definitely gonna be selling the shield here. 
because we just need space. Is there a better way for me to do this? Hey, that's kind of my better way to do this, right? Um... Okay. Now, this isn't gonna work. Unless I used you as an activator. I mean, you're every 2.8 seconds. You're faster. So I should definitely just probably use you as an activator. You also need to upgrade, so... That's a no-brainer. We don't really need garlic. Well, I guess I could just put it there, but we really don't need it. I guess I am gonna sell you after all. Uh, even though I just didn't sell you. <laughs> We'll see. Unhealing, huh? Uh, we might be okay. Because we're slowing them down. And that's the biggest... That's the most... That's the biggest counter to an unhealing build is to make them slow. The biggest counter, in my opinion. And he doesn't have anything to combat the slowness. Because he doesn't... He's not gaining infinite heat. He's not gaining infinite vampirism. Mean, he doesn't have a blood goober. Like, he doesn't really have anything. So, yeah, that was an easy win. Good game. All right, now we have our sun armor. That is amazing. Yeah, we're selling you. We're selling you, I don't care. Selling you, I'm gonna buy this. And I'm also gonna get this guy. And I need this guy for the, uh, mainly just for, the random buffs is nice, but it's mainly for um, the increase to healing that the sun armor does and that the chili goober does. And that's basically gonna be our survivability for the most part. I wonder if no, because we, we still don't have any of the uh the lamps. Once we get the lamps, we might be able to change uh flame whip into our main DPS. Might. Should probably do that. I'm gonna put you on a side somewhere. You don't really matter too much to me. Even though displacement is garbage. Whoa. On a panonomi was interesting. I've never seen a build like this before. He's also got double prison orbs. We'll see what happens here. Pretty sure we're gonna win. Yeah, we're definitely gonna win this. Yeah, good game though, good game. Can I get something good? I'll take it. Nothing there. Honestly, this is not bad. Taking this, I need more pineapples. I need more pineapples, I need more ice items. Another Priz Orb is pretty solid though, not gonna lie. Can we improve this somehow with what we have? Just some way, somehow, some way. Um, no, that's probably the best I can do as far as placement goes for this item. I mean, I could put it here and then do that, but like, that's not really changing much, is it? I'm going to switch this around. I guess ideally I would be able to put four, but no matter how I like change it, I'm not able to do four. No, there we go, four. There we go, nice. Nice, okay. So that should increase my healing, even even uh, like a slight increase is good. Kinda wanna put more flame over here, honestly. Just stack that up as much as possible. The min-max stat will probably be in my best interest. Yeah. All right, what are we going against? Oh, we might lose this one. Is this game? Potentially. Uh, He's not min-maxed, which is good, but this is a dangerous combination of DPS that he's got going on. Dangerous combination of DPS he's got going on, for sure. We need to start killing him, like, now. Like, critting him now. 51. Come on. 48. 63. Beautiful. Come on, crit. He's super slowed right now. Game tight. That's game, that's game, that's game. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, give me you. You're gonna go. Honestly, you can just go there. Oh, that's not bad. Sorry, they were here. Like, that's not bad either. 
Yeah, both of these locations isn't bad. Um, and I guess I'll pick up this just to, you know, put it up there, right? I think that's the best course of action for me. Uh, we still don't haven't seen any lamps. Like, that's one of the main things we're missing for infinite DPS scaling. Because we have no infinite DPS scaling. We're just getting away with the increase in this. Plus, we don't have any uh, ice items either. So that's like a really, really big problem too. Nice criticals though. Beautiful crits. Beautiful. Even though he critters for like 100 something damage right there. Good game. Okay, that's huge. Um... We're going to have to rearrange now, which is a little bit disappointing. This doesn't matter. Do I get this? Do I need this? This is going to make this is going to make that faster, this faster. Oh, the prismatic orbs are going to get faster too. That's kind of huge. Prism orbs are really, really good. And we got another one. I should take up this third one. This is going to be really good for us too. We just need to figure out how we're going to apply it, really. I really don't know. Unless I move the entire board down by one, which might not be in my best interest. Because if I move the entire board down by one, I can move this like this. Then I can move this up and then do that. Right. And then that should just be like that. I mean, we could try it. We could try it. We could try just moving the entire board down buy one just to you know just to try it out see what happens here right so then that'll be like that um or i could just do that that works too that actually might be better that can go there and then we need flame whip action somewhere um we'll do this and then sun armor goes down here So then that's four, that's three. I said I put this here? Three, three? Oh, four, three, beautiful, four, three, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's not gonna be a trigger. Ooh, no, cause Sun Armor has to go there for, the, for it to be a trigger, right? Yeah, so that's four, I mean, three, three, which it could be four, four, cause that's gonna be four. Okay, beautiful, so that works. Don't know where I'm gonna put this. I guess I could just slap it right there. That can go there. And that way you can go there. And now the food situation just uh, probably should probably just go up here, honestly. And we can just do boom or boom, boom, boom. Just try to make this pineapple as fast as possible. And uh, yeah, the rest is just heat items, which another place to put them other than up here inside of here for that maximum health. And yeah, we're just going to roll with this. Um, I kind of still do want to get Nico. I guess I could put Nico right here. That might be worth 40 gold, uh, chili flame whip and sun armor. Not really sure. I'm gonna put this guy afterwards though, but I mean, making the prismatic orbs 20% faster is kind of nice to be fair. Thinking that's only like 10 heat. So I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, OP build versus, uh, OP build is interesting. He's got lightsaber, not to mention burning banner, which means our accuracy is going to be buns, which is going to be really, really bad for us. We'll see what happens here. We might actually lose this. And he's going to be critting 44 out the gate. Hurts a lot. Okay, his crits have stopped. Our accuracy still sucks, though, to be fair. And the only thing that's increasing our accuracy would probably just be the, uh, the clovers here. I mean, a 62 critical is really good, though, because you're making them super duper slow. 78 critical right there. Damn, we survived the burst and it ended up just doing a big ton of damage. Where are we putting this? I don't know where, but we're buying it. Buying this. I don't need you. Another pineapple is humongous. I actually just might sell, like, the garlic or something. I need to figure out where to put this, though, for real. I mean, if I move... Well, no, I can't move you down one. That's the thing. I wish I could move the entire board over by one. Doing that would probably solve this issue. I think that's the plan. I think we just move the entire board over by one. Like here. Which is a little weird, but... 
like it's going to work. I like it's going to work. Um, didn't I guess this goes here? No, because this needs to go somewhere. All right, let's see what let's, let's see if this works actually. So that goes there. Well, no, because this goes up here. This goes here. That can't go over there. That's got to go here for the uh, maximizing of holy items. Um, I wish it was a mutual spot for all three of these to touch. That's kind of what I'm looking at or looking for right now. Three, four, three. This being over here is way better. Three, four, two. Actually, is it way better? Maybe it's not way better. Three, four, three. Maybe this is, you know, that's decent. Oh, that's not horrible. This entire time, we didn't find, like, a single, uh... Oh, look, that five right there. Nice. Okay, yeah, we can like this. This side time, we didn't find a single lamp. Not a single lamp. Which is kind of crazy and sucky at the same time. That we just didn't run across a single lamp. This has definitely been a roller coaster of a match. Definitely. We kind of. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of dogs in a busted blade. We're just gonna make you slow as fuck. Even though you're critting like crazy. The slower we make you, the better. Nice. Good game. Good freaking game. We had eight impairment. It's insane, bro. These prismatic orbs are really good. Really, really good. Especially since you can just make them faster. Like every three seconds is insane. Do we need anything here? Honestly, just getting a corrupted crystal, maybe. Make things stronger. Probably a good play. Finally, our first freaking oil lamp. First oil lamp. I don't even know what to put the oil lamp on. I guess this is like the most ideal spot though. But realistically, you would want to put your oil lamp on your weapon that does the most damage. Which, I mean, infinite DPS scaling tells me this is going to end up doing more damage than this. But this already does double the amount of damage this does right off the gate, right? So it's kind of like, what do I really do, you know? Which I honestly don't know. I'm just going to keep it on there, though. We'll see what does the most DPS I do with this. Un unhealing build. A weird one. What? Unhealing build with magic torch is crazy. He's got this all fucked up. <laughs> Like, these should be under here, bro. What are you doing? I guess maybe just... I don't know why he did that. Don't know. Double glowing crown is going to be an issue. Oh, my gosh. Your toad location is horrific. Yeah, this could be way better. It could be way better. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. It could be way better, realistically. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not worried. All we need to do is burst them down. 65 critical... 72 critical 73 and that's just gonna keep getting higher and higher in this game yeah he could have done way better with his setup his setup was really bad i'll take you i'll take the mini space um and i was looking for another mini space realistically uh i mean i guess the best course of action is just to put this down here and then just point this downwards like that. I feel like that's the best course of action. All right, this is the build. Was it planning on doing a build like this to be fair? But I mean, it kind of worked out pretty well for the most part. Triple prismatic orbs really does work wonders, not to mention uh, sun armor for the healing and then having 12, uh, 20 what is that 22 or 32 and then another 12 which is what 44 44 percent increase in healing and then we're healing from uh, sun armor chili guru not to mention the regeneration it's all good in the hood and then this uh proccing which you know another 15 percent right after that is great actually really really great yeah that's the yeah that was dope another uh should I get this actually? Maybe I should get this. I could just sell all three of these because these aren't going to go on a board at all. Like those aren't going on a board. More mana generation would be nice for this guy. Because we aren't, we are, well, I guess we're getting mana from the prismatic orb as well. So maybe 
Maybe that's okay, actually. And I'm just gonna sell the rest of these heats. Selling this, because that's exactly where it's gonna go, and then one more heat. Just put that right there. Awesome! Okay, we're going to get a Burst Poison Ranger build. See what happens here, because the problem with this build and why it's good is because it applies a lot of poison at the start of the game. We still beat it, but it's a really good build. Like, it applies a lot of poison at the beginning of the game, and then it also does a lot of damage. Right, so even though it's a burst build, like, it can burst you down at the beginning. But if it doesn't, it can just rely on a poison to take you out. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a pretty good build, not gonna lie. It's a pretty, pretty damn good build, but... But yeah, that was a good game. I'm surprised that we even won this. I was not expecting to win this because this is not the correct setup for this build at all. But even so, we still made it work. Still made it work, which is pretty good. Wow, I'm surprised Flame Wheel did the same amount of DPS as Dragon. That is insane. Flame Wheel did more DPS than the Dragon did. Even with Frozen Flame on it, even with this critting for like 70 damage, Flame Whip still managed. I mean, to be fair, I did have oil lamps on the Flame Whip, but this just makes me feel like I should have pointed Frozen Flame towards the Flame Whip. And it would have done even more DPS, you know what I mean? But then again, if this isn't pointed towards the Ice Dragon, the Ice Dragon wouldn't have done 209 damage in the first place, right? So, but, but still, you know what I mean? Like, it would have probably been better at the end of the day. Yeah, nice healing as well. But yeah, that was a good game. Thank you guys for watching. As always, love you guys. Love you, love you, love you, love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video.